reason I've got you here is I want to talk about this big, big tour I've lined up for you, you see? Oh, really? Big tour. Oh, you'll love this. Yeah. No, you'll love this, because your career will rock it. It will rock it. Yes. Now, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I've booked in, I've mm. booked you in, with, this is definite, we've got 55 nights for you at the Doncaster Don Tropical Garden God, Shed. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah no. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> uh, we've got 177 <laughs> nights for you and a bucket of airing called Christopher, that should be good. Yeah. And one night, I can't promise this, because it ain't been confirmed yet, but we've got one night in the largest stadium in, in, in Basildon. And it's mm. not definite, but I've got to speak to Thomas the Hammer yet, uh, mm. but it'll probably come through, I should think. Mm. Now, this one you'll love, you'll like this kid. Now, yeah. you know the Royal Albert Hall? Yeah, yes. Well, yes. just round the back there, right, <laughs> they got this, this old newsstand, right? It's been converted into a sort of stadium-type effort jobby thingy thing, right? Yeah. Now, I know you've supported the great, well, the great Gordon Jackson, stuff yeah. like that. I know you've been with him and all that, so you'll be used to all that, Kate, but won't you? Now, failing that, Mrs Uxtable from Cheedlium has offered us a 17-night deal in her larder. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't confirmed this yet, Kim, because I wasn't sure if you were confident about filling the larder. <laughs> No, I thought you might be able to. So what do you reckon? Uh, this doesn't sound quite me, somehow. I, I knew you'd be with us on that one. Nice one, Kim. So I'll go ahead with that one. Yeah. Cheers. Dear Gilbert, why is the garden so unkept of late? I arrived home the other day after 37 years away, and to my horror, I discovered the truth about grass and gardens. They are a real problem. Also, it was the wrong house. Dolly Daydream. <sighs> Waste of space, Dolly, my dear. Say, uh... I'll ask you one more time. Do you want to join me on the mission to find the perfect stew? It'll be a long and dangerous trek. There will be hardship and despair. But I'm convinced it will be worth it in the end. Well, what do you say? Nah, don't fancy it much. All right, bye. 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 Bye, bye then. I'll ask you one more time. Do you want to join me in the mission for the perfect stew? It will be a long and dangerous trek. There will be hardship and despair. But I'm sure it will be worth it in the end. Well, what do you say? Huh? Well, I must say, Jim, the prospect of any further action today confined to the pavilion here at Headingley. It's drizzling steadily. And the light is very bad indeed. Dear Mum and Dad, this holiday isn't turning out to be as restful as I'd hoped, but Gilbert has found a friend. Well, uh... I thought I was in love once, and that, that was with a rock cake from, uh, from Sirencester, but, well, different backgrounds and all that, you know, it just didn't work out, I suppose. Here, I want to, well, I want to say something to you, Perk, and I've never said this before, but I love you. I really do love you. I think you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, Perk, what's the matter? You, you haven't touched your scrummy griddle burger. Yeah, I suppose it's love, really, isn't it? It affects you like that, can affect you in funny ways, can't it? <laughs> Good news on the romance front. Minolo and I are back on speaking terms. Sadly, he can't come out tonight as he's expecting an urgent telex from New York. So Gilbert and I thought we might go to the flamenco evening at the hotel. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what they're like, but they're really good, though. Well, it's... that's what Spain's all about. Yes, it's all about that, really, isn't it? And culture and everything. That's look, the real Look at Perk, Charlie. She's having a <laughs> lovely time, isn't she, eh? She? Yeah. Good. I'm so happy, Charlie. Now I've found love, love, true love, deep in my heart. You know, I haven't been so happy, Charlie, since the last time that I was happy, when I was all like, all smiling and glowing, like a happy, happy, happy person. You make oh, a lovely Charlie. couple, Gilbert. Do you think so, really? Are you serious? Yes. Of oh, I think we do too. I'm so in love. Oh, oh. hang on a moment. Um, 
I've just got to nip off and see uh, a little pussycat about a geezer or something in a minute. I'll see you later. Gilbert? Oh, yeah. Gilbert. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know where he's gone. Actually, so far on the holiday, we've been getting along fine. No tips, really. Not much, anyway. He's, uh, he's quite nice, really. I'm not sure whether you're understanding me. I mean, do you speak Spanish or English? I'll just carry on, shall I? OK. I've met some lovely people whilst I've been here in Bordeaux. Very friendly people. One very special person. It's called Manolo. He's very important. Unfortunately, he couldn't take me out tonight because he's expecting an urgent telex. He's uh, very rich. In fact, he owns the hotel and a couple of yachts and lots of other property as well. And a very big television company. Oh, I think they're starting up again. I didn't order you one. Um, I don't know what you drink. <laughs> now, listen, about this tour. Yeah. Now, I was thinking, you know, I've taken one or two liberties here, but have you had any thoughts about who you'd like to play with, Kim, particularly? Because I have got just the outfit lined up for you. Great. Great new Great. combo. Yeah? Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> Raymond Bottle and his little dog called Harold Butter. Now, yeah. he's going to be on a support bill. We've got Saucy Sid, who juggles giraffes. He's good. Gene Pitsy and Reg. The Milk Sisters, they're a good, they're a good group. They're going on for three hours. They do a three-hour set. Mm -hmm. It'll be a two-hour break. Then we get Jeffrey the Toad. Now he's huge. Mm. He's just, he's just a really huge big. Toad. Yeah, he's mm. just really, really, really huge. Great balloon of a toad he is this bloke. God, no, this is the wrong. I think this is along the wrong tack. I knew you'd say that, Kim. You're just being I mean, nice, I'm, aren't I'm, you? No, I'm open-minded about a lot of things, but I think That's here what? you're just on the wrong tack. Do you yeah. think so? Yeah. I think we could get another towel. I'll ask the waiter in a minute, but I just sent him away, silly bloke. He was far too tall. Listen, now what I had the boss on the phone. Uh, we had, mm. see, we had you lined up with Sting and you two and the boss, right, to do a package around the world. Like, I turned it down, obviously. Because, you know, I'm thinking of your interests here. Now, some of these big names we talked about, like Roy Hudd and Lenny Bennett, they yeah. couldn't do it. I'm afraid they couldn't do it. But I've got some results for you, Kim. No, I think you should... <laughs> I don't know. This is, doesn't seem to be your line, does it? You don't uh, have a flair for this. I, I don't oh, want to well, tell you. you know I don't me, like Kim. telling it, because I know you're trying the hardest. That you she can likes do. her little joke. <laughs> I love it. The understatement. That's really clever, isn't it? Oh, well, Kim, uh, on to the travel arrangements. And now... Here is the news with David Bottlesock. Q, David. Yeah. Q, David. Come on. Get on with it. Q, David. Sorry, is there a problem? Is there a... Right, Q, Bottlesock. Right, here is the news with David Bottlesock. What's the matter? Well, I'm sorry, I can't help that. And let me just say in summing up that whatever I may say is complete and utter hogwash. If, on the other hand, you have a, a nasty growth, don't come near me. <clears throat> now, in the words of the great poet Edwin Throat, 
Where are my saucy dumplings, Mrs? I must ask the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, do you find the defendant, Thomas the Breadfish, guilty or slightly lopsided? Not really, my lord. Will the defendant please stand and do his Roy Hudd impression? Uh, better still, the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, why don't you all come round to my place and join me in a sensational buffet supper? Look at our lads. There's no stopping it now. <sighs> so grey out there. Hey, just think, before it was grey, it was all green. Cos there was no grey there, just green. That's much better, that is. That's why I painted that window frame green. Well, I didn't do it late, but some gadgy like come round on the council to do it. I'd look smart, though. You know, it's funny, but I sometimes think people are right funny if you think about it. Anyway, I didn't come here to tell you that. Oh, I was thinking about uh, having an extension put on my anorak with aquatic leisure facilities and a disco club area. Yeah, that's for all you as gadgets what do that kind of give you know. Ah, uh, well, you can all know it's dreamlike, but not in colour, because I didn't think we as human people like had the inbuilt ability. You know, some people actually love cricket. And they can even watch it, too. Some gadgets are strange. I'll tell you straight. It's not football, mind, though, but that's a game I love. I reckon that I love football more than I love my Engelbert Hobbiting records. Mind you, if you think about it, uh, there's more chance of my Engelbert Hobbiting records winning the First Division Championship than Newcastle United. Ah, uh, you know what? I didn't worry about whether the lads are in the First Division like or the Opal Fruit League Division 190. That's cos I love them. Hey, I've just realised something. It's raining like that's now tomorrow. I've just been watching it so long that I forgot about it. Away. I better get out now and put my rain collector in position. Ah, oh, it's a canny little collector. It can collect a load of rain in it. Well, that's why it's called a rain collector, like. I got it with saving up five tokens out of my home scientist magazine, like. At the moment, oh, I'm collecting for an electrically motivated thermometer. Way hey, yes. Taught a Newcastle Weather Centre Chief Weather Gadgie Len Mackman, not any like. Oh, yeah. You can always dream. storms, torrential rain, the tunnel flooded, the chaps were in turmoil. Fortunately, I knew what to do. <coughs> I don't think we should try and drink our way out no more, sir. It doesn't taste too good. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe we put some more water in, sir. I think there's quite enough water down there, thank you. That is, after all, the very nub of the problem. Ah, very good, sir. Gentlemen, might I suggest a giant suction pump? Yeah? Yeah? Good. Giant suction pump. Oh, yes, of course, I've got one under my bunk. To fix her. Problem solved. Not really nifty. All right, sir. We'll do, sir. Damn it. Pardon, Major? Hey, damn it. Build a dam. Too late, sir. The water's seeped through. It's pervaded my very soul. Eh? Yes. Well, I suggest a giant suction pump, sir. <sighs> Can't you think of anything? Oh, no, sir. Why don't we use a giant suction, um, a giant suction, uh, yes? 
A sort of giant suction sort of collecting machine, so rather like a pump. All right, Sergeant Major, at ease. What? Just a little slap, sir? No. I suggest we sleep on it, chaps. In full kit, sir? <coughs> Is that your tunnel, sir? Uh, yes. You got a chitty for that, have you? Yes. Oh. It's a squirrel, sir. Shit, it's round the back, sir. Huh? Very good. Just, uh, mind how you go, eh? Watch next week's episode to see what happens next week in How Far to Hitchin. How far to Hitchin? It's Hitchin I'm missing. 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 Hello there. This is the strange and eerie tale of Mad Murdo McCluskey, Highland warrior who fought with terrible dragoons. Sometimes, Murdo would wander the dark and chilly moors, hurling puddings at passers-by, who more often than not would number no more than none. Murdo would crouch down in the bracken, counting his puddings in the night, in case someone should want to steal them. But no one ever did. Except one day, when loads of very tall invaders from across the seas arrived and said in strange tongues, Here's your puddings, you daft old toad. And he did. No sense in being too precious about them. The strange invaders walked away, singing as they went. We nick Murdo's puddings, we nick Murdo's puddings, a la la la, a la la la. Bye bye, minor huge ones. See you next time. <laughs> Ow. Idiot. Obviously, yeah. First class if I'm flying, you know, oh, definitely. Yeah, flying. Oh, you know, the, the tour bus has to have some sleeping arrangement, like that. Bus yeah. Stuff. Of course, yeah. yeah, the tour bus. Yeah, well, about... At stage, you know, I like to have, you know, nice champagne and things like that. Yeah, I don't I think that's too see. much to ask, do you? I think that's quite reasonable. Uh, no, yeah. no, for it, no, no, for it, no, for it, no, no, <laughs> for someone in your, no, for your position, uh, someone in your position, Mm. You, look, you look very nice. Very in my nice. position. The position you're in yes. now. It's comfortable, isn't it? Yes, it's lovely. <laughs> Extra gags, Kim. Extra gags. You can't I say fairer than that. I, I charge for those. Right? Ooh, naughty, you naughty. Get the bill later. Now, listen, yeah. see, I Ooh. had this in. Now, what I had in mind, obviously, all for a bit of a problem on the old flights. Now, have you got mm. a clean license? Um, license? Yeah, driving license. Uh, thing, because I might be able to get a van, you see. No. Now, sleeping, that's all right, that's all organised. You'll be sleeping in a box with Horace. No, hang on, who's driving? Uh, who's driving you, well, we van? hope that you would be I'm able... I'm driving the van. Yeah, didn't mm. you think that would be part of the deal at all? No, not at all. Well, it would be quite all right, I bet, probably, you should think. Mm. Now, also, you will be travelling sometimes by a sort of bicycle cum, sort of go-kart type thingy job, <clears> right? It's got pedals. It's got good. pedals, Kim. Right. It'll be good. It'll look good on the CV, yeah. ridden around on a thing that looks like a go-kart and thing like that. Yeah. Done that. You can put on your 
thing, can't you? Mm. Right. Now, food, that's all right, because we've got a sponsorship deal with Matey O's Dog Food, right? Now, what we're going to be doing, it's all meaty and chunky and lovely, and there's a bit of variety, because they're even going to be sending it on the old marrow-bone jelly. Marrow-bone <laughs> jelly, I think it's called. Now, Kim, yes. most important of all, money. Money, OK. Have you got any? And uh, now it's time to close this with us. Here's your host, Martin Hicks Morris! <laughs> Folks, come on, don't know what to do. Come on, folks. Ah, oh, too much gushing. Ah, oh. they love me though. What? Uh, come on, answer that. Who was it? What? Hey, Bob, can you get that phone? We shouldn't have. Can you get the phone, Bob, please? No, can you get the phone? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Some. But, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there we go. Welcome to Gives the Dash. Two contestants you've seen before. There he is, smiling Eddie. We got him there. And uh, we're, that's a little clue as to our fantastic holiday that we're going to be uh, uh, giving away as a prize later on. Ladies and gentlemen, my impression of an aeroplane lost in the fog <laughs> at London Airport. Him! Hi, <laughs> 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 okay, Eddie. How are you, Eli? How are you doing? Well, I've not been very, very well lately. Yeah. Well, the other Thursday, I went to my auntie's f funeral. A fella came over, over to me and he said, it's hardly worth your while going home, is it, lad? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I don't understand. Hey, I'm going to do it from here now, Bob, OK? Ah, right, now then. Eddie, your question first. What am I doing? Uh, riding a bike. Yes, that's good, nearly. Very good. Very good indeed. No, no, in fact, I wasn't riding a bike. I was doing something completely stupid. But uh, nobody saw me do it. OK, there I am. Get out of there. Get out of there, Bob. I don't want you in here as well. I just told you, answer the phone. It's better. The prize, the fantastic prize that we're going to be... Did you like it from here, Bob? And the... What has happened to the prize? Where is it? And here it is. <laughs> Where is Barry? What is he doing? This is, this is, the, this is, this is the prize, the, the, the fantastic prize, and, and you have to just... This oh, is holiday. Uh, so, uh, Come on, man. This will be somewhat of an adventure. Come on, more, more information. Husky dogs always seem to herald the adventure. Uh, 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 hotel. Barry, I hate you. OK. Thanks very much, you guys, for playing the game. I'm taking a little break now, but if you just want to step up to the podium, the thing's going on here, you wouldn't believe. OK, goodbye, all now. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye, you. Right. Quick, we've got to get out of here, Jess. It's getting desperate. Bye-bye, you guys. Thank you. I want to read out. It's a place of coming up. The point of 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 the